come to our today's presentation on computer studies 451 stroke one that is the theory paper i'm your facilitator today and my name is angela musioki welcome so to start we are going to look at the nature of the paper this paper consists of two sections we have section a and we have section B. Section A consists of 40 marks, and section B, we have 60 marks. Now, what should the candidate do before starts, uh, he or she starts to answer the question? He or she should read the instructions carefully. The instructions are on the first page. That's where you should be reading your instructions so that you, are, you get to know what the paper requires of you. These instructions inform the candidates on the sections in the paper. As I have said earlier, we have two sections. That is section A, which is compulsory, comprising of 15 questions, 40 marks. And we have section B, whereby we have another compulsory question, which is question 16. Then in section B, we have four other questions whereby the candidate is expected to choose three out of four questions. So before you start to answer the paper again, what should you else, what should you do? You should actually go through the paper and check the questions that have been asked so that you gain some confidence in answering your questions. Let's look at the terms that are used in testing. The first term is name. In naming, you are supposed to give points. Again, you can be given to name a labeled part in a certain diagram. The other term that is used in, in asking of the questions is state. In state, you are supposed to give meaningful statements. Another term is identify. Identify mostly you are naming a labeled part. Like for example, in this diagram, you can see that the diagram is drawn there. And then there's the part labeled A and there's the part labeled B. In the questions, you are supposed question one, to identify the topology. And in this case, this is Zambas topology. Then again, another term that is used in testing is define. In define, you are given the meaning of words that have been given or the meaning of phrases that have been given. The other term that is used in testing is determine. And in determine, you are finding a solution to a problem. Like for example, in a question testing you from a data representation in a computer whereby you are told to determine the value of two numbers that have been subtracted using either one's complement or two's complement. The other term is explain. And in explain, you are given a point, you are given a point, and you are supposed to say more information about it. Or rather, we can talk of giving more details about a given point. Then describe, giving procedures, or there you are supposed to be giving processes. The other term is illustrate. Illustrate, you are supposed to use a correctly labeled diagram or diagrams, and that again, you can add explanations. Another term is differentiate or distinguish. Here, you are given the differences of a given, of two given terms. Like for example, if you are told to differentiate between a compiler and an interpreter, then differences of those two must come out clearly on both sides in order for the candidate to score that point right. 
Again, when you are differentiating, you are supposed to differentiate at a common point. For example, in our case of differentiating between a compiler and an interpreter, like one of the differences is that compilers are faster than translators. Then you are supposed to uh, differentiate at a common point. You, another point, let's say like you are differentiating using memory, whereby a compiler requires a lot of memory and an interpreter requires less memory. That's a correct point. But you cannot differentiate by saying that a compiler requires a lot of memory and an interpreter is let's say like fast or what, you are supposed to differentiate at a common point. Another term is with aid of a diagram. When you are given a question whereby you are taught with aid of a diagram, with the aid of a diag with the aid of a diagram, for like for example, with the aid of a flowchart, describe a loop control structure. In this case, the candidate is supposed to draw a diagram, label it, and then give an explanation or more information about the diagram that you have drawn. Then we have another term that is outline. In outline, you are supposed to give the chronological order of events, the way the steps are supposed to follow one other the way the events are supposed to follow one another. Like for example, if you are told to give the stages of program development, the stages should follow each other in the given, in the correct order, from the first stage to the last stage. The point where you start mixing the stages, that point you start scoring wrong. So the stages should flow in order from number one to the second stage, to the third one, all the way to the last stage. 